Hey guys, I wanted to do like a little intro here, like sorry for the kind of blank screen and everything but I just kind of wanted to explain what's going on before I start drawing but in this video I am doing like a random prompt challenge and I got like, I think it was like a medieval town or something so that's what I'm drawing in this video and I probably won't be talking too much after this I'm not sure yet like we'll see but um yeah just kind of wanted to explain what's going on before everything kicks in because it's mostly all the start and sketches on my camera but I decided that I don't really want the sketch part in like I just want to go in already so yeah I hope you guys enjoy So hey guys again, I'm doing a voiceover now, um, the first part of the voiceover I did like ages ago today, I am so goddamn tired, but um, basically in this video I did, um, the prompt was like a medieval town, like I can't remember if I said that in the intro already but <laughs> yeah it's a medieval town and I just did the buildings, I used a reference and maybe i'll link the reference in the description if you guys also want to try drawing along with me or whatever like this this took me a while but basically i just used some clips that i got from my phone instead and i like mixing it up you know i like having some fast bits some slow bits like i've been enjoying mixing it up in my videos lately just to kind of speed up the process a little bit but also have a little bit of real time kind of work in as well because I like both so why not have both you know but um yeah I realized how goddamn awkward I am when doing voiceovers and stuff and I am so sorry like <laughs> if any of you guys watch my twitch streams you know I'm not like that awkward <laughs> like I'm not this awkward in like twitch streams but it's so different from like each other streaming and like recording like video and doing voiceover they're all so different and I have no idea why like I don't, I don't know why they're so different I think it's because when I'm streaming on twitch and stuff I'm having fun and it's real time and I don't have to go back and restart like <laughs> restart with voiceovers and stuff sometimes if I don't like how a certain like thing sounds or whatever like it, it's it's not the same I feel like it's not the same <laughs> I feel like it's not the same as talking to yourself like I don't know why but on Twitch I feel like I'm talking to myself but on YouTube and doing voiceovers I really feel like I'm talking to people which is really strange like I haven't felt that in a long time <laughs> and even so I don't know why it's a bother anyways because I, I I do stream and talk to people a lot I guess some kind of things don't cross over 100% like some some skills don't 100% cross over at least not immediately but yeah also guys i want to tell you i'll be doing twitch streams like art twitch streams every wednesday now or at least i'm gonna try and i'll just be doing random things honestly like just random artwork that i'm doing at the time and if you guys are interested in that then my twitch is the same as my youtube name so if you want to check out my streams on wednesdays then that'll be where you can find me and i'm thinking of just streaming for the entire time that i'm drawing on the day <laughs> because i think that'll just be nice and fun and not as lonely and i feel like streaming art keeps me accountable and it actually makes me try. I feel like I don't try that much when drawing anymore. So, like I've, I've gotten myself so chilled out with drawing that I don't always try, you know? Like, 
making yourself accept mistakes and stuff is one thing, but allowing yourself to just make mistakes all the time isn't great. Like, yeah, I'm learning a lot, but at the same time, <laughs> like, it, it doesn't make me mentally happy, you know, to make mistakes all the time. <laughs> my, my perfectionist brain can't handle uh, making mistakes all the time. I have to do something for myself sometimes, you know, I have to do something nice for myself So I think I think that's what I'll be doing on the streams. I'll just be trying to do a nice piece or plan nice pieces on streams or do you like projects or whatever I'm always working on projects now like just all the time which is great because I'm trying to make a physical portfolio and I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that. I feel like I should just do like prints and then put them in a portfolio but it's still not the originals so I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, um, how are you guys doing this week? My last week has been terrible. Like I have been very unwell. I've not been feeling well at all, like, I've been so fatigued, I've just been doing nothing, like, watching TV, watching anime, eating, <laughs> like, I've, I've really not had the energy, even when I had energy drinks or tea, like, at the start of this, I still didn't have the energy to do anything, which... Is it understandable, I guess? Maybe it was burnout. I get burnout so easily. I cannot believe it. Like, I used to be able to power through stuff, but now I just can't. No, I'm, I'm getting old. <laughs> I'm getting old. I can't power through things the same way I used to be able to. So, yeah, I just, I just don't, you know? Like, if I feel my body is, like, aching and sore, like, I'm, I'm like... Yeah, I gotta take a break now, like, I don't care, you know? Like, I don't care what's on the table. But, lately, I have a lot on the table. I have a lot to do this week. I have this video. Then I have to actually finish a Draw This In Your Style, which I've been planning the past week and still not finished. <laughs> I haven't even started the, like, piece yet. And I have, like, two or three days left to do it. And the only reason I've not been able to complete it last week like I wanted is because I've been sick. <laughs> like, that's the only reason why and it, it's been stressing me out to high heavens and I am so sad that it's only got a few days left. Like, Sam, Sam does ants, if you're listening, please, <laughs> please give us more time. <laughs> Actually, I'm kidding, don't give us more time. I. That's, that's asking a bit too much, you know. We've had plenty of time. I've just had taken too long, you know, to get to, uh, to get to doing it. Anyways, besides last week, um, I really kind of struggled with this piece. Like, I, I didn't realize, but I don't really draw, like, streets that often or like buildings and I thought I would have because I've drawn a lot of interior spaces because I did interior design like as a course and I thought I'd be able to do like a good job of buildings and have a good idea but it's just not the same drawing the outside of a building is way different to drawing the inside like a room you know so <laughs> Yeah, the, the perspective is very off and I chose to do it in only three colored pencils because why not? Like I wanted to do like a defined sketch but I wanted the sketch to be in color. I don't know if you know what I mean like I just wanted it to be cute <laughs> even though it's medieval. <laughs> like I, I just wanted to do it in my style so <laughs> yeah here, here we are in three colored pencils only i used just some random ones like i've i filmed some stuff at the start but i scrapped that 
stuff because I cannot be bothered right now. I cannot be bothered to get my camera out and like put my camera clips on to the um, video because it's just so late and I want to get this video out today. So I just got the footage I took on my phone instead and honestly I'm not that bothered. I like this style of video. I, I wish I just had the overhead like boom arm. Sorry, sorry about that. The overhead like boom arm for my camera. Knowing me, I'll knock myself out with the camera because cameras are hecking heavy, you know? Like, I have... I have a Nikon. I, I have no idea what the camera is called. Like, I can't remember if it's DSLR or DLSR. It's one of those, but I have one of those and it's kind of old. But, you know, it gets the job done. And I, I adore the camera. I adore it so much. Like, I didn't think I'd ever like cameras, but I do like that one. I got it on such, like, a good price. Like, everywhere where I'm seeing them, they cost, like, over 300 pounds. Like, maybe around 500. But I think I got mine for, like, 200. I'm pretty sure I got mine. No, wait, maybe it was even less. I think it was like 120 or 30. Oh yeah, it was 130. And I've seen it on Amazon for anywhere between 300 and 500. I'm like, that is a steal. I got a steal of a camera. Like it is, it was so cheap and I don't know why. Like, <laughs> I think it's cause it was used, but like there's nothing wrong with it. Like I've had no problems. I did, however, have to buy the lens, and the lens was £70, and the lens is basic lens. I got the basic lens for the camera, so it's like, yeah, it's, it's okay. It doesn't zoom in a lot, though, but for what I need it for, I don't really need it to zoom in a lot, so... I like it. I do like it. I like the camera. I like the lens. I like I like using the camera. Um, I think it's a bit of a hassle. I have a lot of mobility problems and setting everything up is quite taxing on me. You know, I run out of speeds or whatever. So that's not fun always, but I do like using it. Like it's it's definitely fun. <laughs> I have way too much fun using my camera sometimes. I'm pretty sure I have like a video of the snow we had the other week. Oh my god, the snow was so good. Like, I want snow more. <laughs> like, I really do want some more snow. Anyways, about the piece. I struggled with the perspective, as you can see. Like, I started with a green, actually. A perspective green. And I just said, fuck it. I'm just gonna try and draw it as close to the picture as I can. And... I definitely effed it up. I missed like a whole section of building. And it is what it is. Like I can't move over to fix it anymore. And I, I, I was just telling myself. I'm like it's okay. I'm just Van Gogh. Like we don't have to draw everything correct. We, we just have to draw it the way that we see it. <laughs> and even though I saw it differently to uh, how I'm drawing it right now. Because there's a whole section of like building missing. Um, I still really like it. I like it. I like this. I like the sketch. I like the colors. I really liked using the brown pencil instead of like black or gray for sketching. And I think the the brown one is actually a watercolor pencil, and it's actually really nice to use. It's like kind of creamy, if you know what I mean. Also, my cat's here. Um, give me a second, guys. <laughs> okay, so yeah, um, the drawing. I had fun. Oh my god, my cat has like, he's wet from being outside one second again. <laughs> hey guys, I'm back again and I've kind of forgotten a lot of what I've been talking about, but... <laughs> yeah, I like this drawing. Like, this drawing made me realise that I do have an art style, even if I don't admit it. And I'm gonna keep trying to stick with it. 
objective perspective, yet again, it's still not that good, but I think the thought is there, you know, like, I tried. <laughs> I, I did the grid, I tried to line everything up as best as I can, and with the ruler as well. But yeah, sometimes uh, it just doesn't go as planned, and I don't mind. I don't mind things not going as planned. It's, it's fun when that happens. <laughs> But yeah, if you guys want to uh, have a print of this, then I'll definitely try and put it up in my uh, Redbubble shop. And if you guys are interested in having a print of this, then it may be in my Redbubble shop. If it's not in my Redbubble shop, then you could always check out the other stuff that's in my Redbubble shop. I'm trying to bring out like a spring collection. So I'm trying to bring out like spring flowers and whatnot. But yeah, we're coming to the end of the video now. I really appreciate everybody for watching the video and sticking around to the end. Uh, yeah, thanks everybody for watching. I really appreciate you all. Bye bye.